In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make realistic landscapes regardless of what rendering program you use. What's going on guys? My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And today I'm gonna to share with you five resources that are incredibly powerful to take your renders from basic boring landscapes to incredible, beautiful, realistic landscapes and gardens. So let's get started with number one, which is one of my personal favorites. It is called globeplants.com. Now, if you jump on globeplants.com, you're gonna find a variety of incredible plants, which are also specifically tailored to different climate zones and regions around the world. One of the best things about globe plants is they actually have Australian native plants in there to select from, as well as a series of different tropical plants, including high poly and low poly on counts. Next on the list is maxtree.org. Maxtree has over a hundred resources that you can download at varying prices. So it definitely isn't the cheapest. It definitely isn't free for everything on Max Tree. It starts anywhere from that low two digits all the way up to the high three digits. So it is a relatively expensive resource on this list, but it has an incredibly unique plants and trees available on Max Tree. Powering through this list today, evermotion.org is number three, not in any particular order, but it is also an incredible resource. Not only do you have your standard trees and plants, you also get shrubs and grass in Evermotion. So if you're looking for a resource that's able to cover everything in the landscaping sector, as well as give you basically everything you could possibly imagine in a scene, Evermotion is an easy one-stop shop. Next on the list is sketchfab.com and I have notoriously and religiously used this website for all sorts of different bits and pieces for my rendering needs. Now, I wanna make a statement right there in that sentence and it's the simple fact that none of these resources today are sponsored in any way. So if you're thinking, oh no, David's just pushing down my throat, whatever he gets paid for, I don't get paid for any of these resources. They are personally incredible in my opinion. So that's why I'm sharing them with you today. But back to the point and topic, it is Sketchfab who are able to supply you with an infinite amount of free resources as well as paid resources. So if you're looking for some free resources, be it plants, shrubs, anything in between, Sketchfab, you're gonna find some lower quality items, but you're gonna find some different stuff compared to what you get generically out of whatever rendering software you might be using. Now, this next one is a complete and utter bonus. It does not count to my five resource recommendations because it isn't specifically to do with your landscape. However, it is to do with the background of your landscape. HDRI-skies.com is by far the best HDRI skies available on the internet. So if you're looking to make sure that your background as well as your landscaping is phenomenal, then HDRI Skies is an easy place to start and produce some of the best skies in any render. Last but not least, this is a website that can cater to all of your needs from the lowest quality stuff in the world to some of the best 3D rendered models I've ever seen in my life. Genuinely, 3dsky.org is the place to find whatever you are looking for. 3D Sky not only has plants and trees and everything in between, it has some of the best rendered materials. So if you're looking for a brand new Tesla Model 3, you can find it on 3D Sky, either paid or free. If you're looking for a Porsche to add into your renders like you've seen in many of mine, 3D Sky is exactly where it comes from. Whatever it might be that you're looking for for any category, that is the resource that you should be writing down right now, saving to your favorites and going back to every single day. And that's it from me guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.